the fact that the MMDA can go here and have vendors immediately empty their stores and deconstruct them proves that it can be done. Good morning everyone, the MMDA are back on the road. Right now they're here on Tayuman. Uh, they're gonna be going to Divisoria, so let's go. Over here they stopped the motorcycle, two excess riders, you see the young children, and of course mommy and daddy have helmets, but the children don't, so no issue a ticket for excess passenger, no helmet, and wearing slippers. Over here they're just pulling in one more rider, uh, no helmet on the daddy or the child. Oh, he does have a helmet, it's in the back box. Um, but none for the little child. So the team just landed now in one Luna Divisoria. You can see some of the vendors are already starting to roll their cartons on because they don't want them to be confiscated. And you can see the sidewalk clearing team have already picked up some barriers that they're clearing from the road. So far things are actually looking pretty good. Most of the sidewalks are unobstructed. There's a couple of vehicles which I deal with but yeah, so far it looks pretty good, but of course it's further along that things normally get a lot worse. You can see the team are also removing a canopy here. Uh, what people often do is bring down a canopy, then they'll put a stall behind it and obstruct the sidewalk, so they're just taking it down now. If you remember last time, this was also a problem area, this corner where they fully obstructed the sidewalk. Unfortunately, they are here again today. They'll be confiscating the fixtures like this post here, which is used to hold the clothes, uh, but they are helping them take the actual clothes inside the shop again. It's always difficult to find the right balance because if you do nothing, then nothing will ever change. And if you're too strict and you confiscate a lot of stuff, people will say you're unfair, you're not thinking about their livelihood. So it's difficult to find the right balance. But make no mistake, these are businesses um, and they make a reasonable amount of money. Over here you can see the team taking away more furniture, chairs that were on the sidewalk. <laughs> ano at least the vendors are taking the time to clean up all the trash that's left behind from their stalls. You can see the stalls are unfortunately back here on the bridge. In fact, I think they've expanded since last time. Considering those two stalls are already empty, I think they probably knew the team were going here and they're trying to clear out before anything gets confiscated but further along you can see it's fully occupied again by vendors in fact I can see they're deconstructing now they're taking down all their umbrellas because they know the umbrellas are instantly confiscated and they're quite expensive to replace <laughs> I was about to say the river is quite clean, but then I came to the other side. And like before, you can see there is local PMP here to provide any support that the team might require. Also to handle crowds. I can see many of the vendors are already rolling their carts away. They want to move it before the team get there because there's always the risk of confiscation. Uh, of course, the reality is that they just roll away. Uh, in a few hours, they're going to roll back again. It's taking a little while, but they are managing to deconstruct these stores. There's a guy over there that's trying to take the tarpaulin, but they're telling him no, it's already considered as confiscated. Uh, because whatever you let them keep, of course, it's going to end up back here in a matter of hours. So when they go for the confiscation, they really go for the confiscation. The whole stall is going to be taken. You can see there's a lot more people here now and they're working a lot faster because they were warned this is taking too long. Uh, the team are going to have to start confiscating stuff. Uh, so now things are really moving much faster. Now the fact that the MMDA can go here, get vendors to empty their stores and then deconstruct them proves it can be done. So will they come back? Yes, maybe. But the question is, where's the barangay, where's the city? Manila City has the MTPB, they have their own clearing teams. Do you see them here today? No. Do you see the barangay here today? No. So MMDA can't be here every day, they have a lot of places to cover. But they've proven it can be done. You can see the vendors have been pretty busy down here moving their stuff away. Uh, it's actually looking 
well, I'm not going to say it's looking good, but they've made some progress at least.